Hey, uh, while I've got you there, Matt, uh, let's uh, stick with the advertiser. Now, Corey Bernardi has uh, set a date uh, to vacate politics. Uh, Polarising South Australian Senator Corey Bernardi will quit politics in little more than a fortnight, ending a turbulent 13-year parliamentary career. The advertiser understands the former Australian Conservative leader uh, has told family, friends and colleagues of his decision to retire from politics after Federal Parliament's last sitting day for the year, which was on December 5. Now, of course, Corey, a regular on Sky and obviously a regular on Paul Murray's show, uh, spoke to Paul earlier tonight and, uh, and gave us an insight into exactly the reasons behind his decision. This will be my last fortnight in the Parliament and uh, I won't be going back next year. There'll be some tidying up after the Parliament uh, concludes and then um, I'll be a free agent in 2020. The timing's right. I just don't want to go back to it next year. Uh, I know that there's another chapter of my life that's going to unfold and I feel in a very comfortable and happy place. So um, I figure I might as well give the opportunity to someone else to have a crack and, and I'll keep punching but it just will be outside of the parliamentary ranks. Matt, uh, how do you think Corey Bernardi will be remembered as a politician? Well, I think he'll be remembered as a man of principle, Gleeso. Whether you agree with Corey Bernardi or not, uh, I think he's one of the, a rare politician these days in that uh, you always know exactly where Corey Bernardi is coming from, where he will stand on an issue, and it is in line with those principles that have really been uh, unwavering. And that, I think, is why we saw him quit the Liberal Party, because he, his principles just didn't line up with where he thought the party was going, particularly under the leadership of Malcolm Turnbull. Now, of course, he went and started the Australian Conservatives, and that didn't turn out to be a great success. But I think of all of those minor parties on the right side of politics, uh, Corey Bernardi is the one who I think is the most level-headed and, you know, is the most uh, sort of common-sense politician of all of those, and he's certainly the most principled. Now, I don't agree with everything that Corey Bernardi says, uh, but I think that he's always someone uh, who uh, you know what he believes in, he says uh, what he thinks, and he stands by those principles, and I think he'll be a loss to the Australian Parliament. Lisa, uh, Matt is 100% uh, right when he mentions the word principled. I mean, uh, Corey Bernardi, as, uh, as Matt said, he, he polarises. I mean, he has views that uh, certainly <laughs> the left wing uh, part of our uh, political narrative uh, don't necessarily agree with. But uh, he, he, he is a man of principle. He was a man of principle. And I think that, that will, uh, he can hold his head high. I think he's had a terrific career. And I think that's what the public want. They, they may not always agree with what these you know, polarising politicians are saying, but at least they feel like they know where they stand. Mm. And I think that's why, you know, to, to bring that back to Pauline Hanson, for example, that's why people support her, because she stands up, she says what she says, and she stands by it, and they like that. They don't want all this double talk. And, and as Matt was saying before, with what we saw with the Greens standing by, or they couldn't run away fast enough, actually, from that comment post the, the firefighters. You know, the general public are sick of that sort of stuff. And, yes, Bernardi will be remembered for some wild and out-there statements, yes, but I think we need some of that sort of... Um, strong-spoken character in our, in our parliament. Mm, a man who believed in what he said. And mm. as you're right, no ambiguity. And as you say, that's why Pauline Hanson is so uh, popular in Queensland in particular.